Hey angels, what's up? It's your girl Alicia and I'm coming to you today with another video. In this video today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about BeautyCon. Um, I know a lot of my subscribers have been to BeautyCon. I know a lot of you guys haven't. I've been getting this video requested time after time again, just asking me how is BeautyCon, um, what can you expect, and like tips and stuff that I can tell you guys for you to know if you're interested in going to BeautyCon. And also, you guys been asking to see my swag bag. So today, we're going to dive into some questions. I'm going to tell you everything you need to pretty much know about BeautyCon. And I'm also going to be showing you guys my swag bag. And my swag bag is here, and it's huge. Ugh. I can barely even lift this bag. This is my swag bag. So as you guys can see, Beauty kind is so serious, like, and I'm about to give you guys all the details. Okay, so what is it that you guys need to know about Beauty kind? First and foremost, this year I went to Beauty kind in New York City. Um, it was a two-day event, April 6th and April 7th. Of course, you know you can buy tickets for one day if that's something that you decide to do. I was able to go both days. Um, when it comes to BeautyCon, the general admission is from 12 to 6. If you have like certain passes or if you have access from like your network or um, different brands, because it's, it's plenty of different ways that you can actually go to BeautyCon, you'll actually be allowed early access. So I was allowed early access. Early access was 10 a.m. So I was there extra early. I would suggest if you have the option to get early access, do it because you're going to be ahead of the crowd, so to speak. Because once general admission gets in, it gets so packed and so crowded to the point where you can barely get into any lines with the brands like you're waiting all day. It's what time should you arrive? There's going to be very large crowds at BeautyCon. BeautyCon is packed. And that's pretty much for any um, beauty convention that you go to, not just beauty kind, but um, gym beauty or any of them is extra crowded. So you wanna make sure you arrive at least like an hour in advance so you can just linger around or be in the line or whatever the case may be. This year, beauty kind in New York was at the Javet Center, the Javit Center. Um, this place was huge. It was like a stadium and um, it actually held a lot of people. So once you buy your tickets, they're gonna actually give you a wristband. Even if you're actually going as an influencer, stuff like that, whoever is bringing you or allowing you to come along, they're going to provide some kind of wristband for you. So with this wristband, you're not able to put it on you until the day of the event because you can't take it off. Once you put it on, you have to cut it off. So they're gonna ask you not to even put it on. So the day of the event, you wanna put it on, fasten it, when you get there, you're going to be able to have your wristband scanned. I thought I had a wristband in here. Um, you're going to be able to have your wristband scanned. Also, the different brands that you're in line for, they're going to be scanning your wristband as well, just to make sure you're not in line more than once and getting like multiple free items. They want to make sure that I guess everybody that gets in line only gets one item. Also, when you get scanned in um, to get your swag bag, they're gonna make sure they scan you as well, just to make sure you only get one swag bag. Nobody's in line coming back and forth to get multiple swag bags. In terms of parking, a lot of people was taking the train and the buses and stuff and actually commuting down there. If you're going to the New York location, make sure that you set aside money for parking because all of the parking lots ran at the event rate. The, the event rate was $60 for parking, which is very, very steep. So just be ready for that extra charge if you're not going to um, actually catch a train or Uber over or something like that. Majority of the crowd was Ubering there or they was catching the train. So BeautyCon is open to all ages. I know a lot of people have been asking how old you have to be to go to BeautyCon. Children six and under are free, but you must be accompanied by an adult. I personally wouldn't let anybody of a young age come to BeautyCon because it's a lot of standing and waiting around and just interacting with different brands and stuff like that. And this is not something that kids want to do. Okay, so I would suggest that like maybe a teenage child, like maybe like 13 and up, that's just my suggestion. Um, also, another tip is to make sure you bring like a suitcase. 
you know, the suitcases that actually has the wheels on them because you will have to lug around this heavy ass bag the entire time. Like, you will be exhausted. Me and my sister, our arms and shoulders, our back, everything was hurting so bad. And we noticed people was carrying around like suitcases and dragging them and we were like, why didn't we think of that? So definitely I would suggest that when it comes to food and beverages, they are going to have some options for food and beverages. Most um, beauty conventions actually has like a concession area where whether it's inside or outside, you'll be able to like buy food and stuff like that. So that's an option. You wanna make sure you pack as light as possible. So just take like a drag bag, like your suitcase bag for all your stuff. And you also wanna make sure you just bring like your credit card and some cash and a photo ID. Pack as lightly as possible, maybe like some blotting sheets cause you do get sweaty and stuff from walking around. Wanna make sure your face stay fresh. Pack as lightly as possible, maybe like some blotting sheets cause you do get sweaty and stuff from walking around. Wanna make sure your face stay fresh. Maybe some powder, you know, because you do be amongst other, um, Beauty blends and beauty brands and stuff, you want to make sure you always look good. Hmm. Make sure you have like some mints or something. Keep your breath fresh, of course. Um, make sure you definitely bring with you business cards if you're an influencer. If you're an influencer or creator, make sure you bring your business cards because you're going to get the opportunity to get face to face with these different brands and you want to make sure that you're prepared because they are always looking for a way that they can contact you. The option that they had this year was actually different. Um, you didn't have to have cash if you didn't want to. They had an option where when you purchase tickets or whatever, you can actually contact them and put like a card on file and actually use that card. I think it was like linked to your bracelet or something. So I thought that was really cool. You might want to pack like a water bottle and like a little snack because you be hungry from walking around all the time and you want to make sure you have like some water because you get so dehydrated. In most cases, those lines are so long, like you really don't even want to wait in line for a snack or water or anything. Uh, something else that's really cool is that they have charging stations there. So if your phone's dying and you don't have your charger, they do have charging stations where you can actually put a pen in, put your phone in, lock your phone in, and then let it charge. You can walk away from it because it's locked in. Nobody knows your pen. When you come back, put your pen in, take it out, whatever. It's really cool. Um, they do have a lost and found there, so if you lose anything, then you definitely can contact lost and found. Other than that, I'm trying to think of anything else. Make sure you're, um, wear comfortable shoes. Oh my God, how could I forget to say that? Wear comfortable shoes because you're going to be on your feet the entire time. I would not suggest wearing heels at all. Um, if you do wear some type of heel, make sure it's a boot or a wedge because your feet is going to be killing you. Um, the whole thing with these beauty conventions is you're able to get in these different lines. Um, every beauty brand has their own little setup. You're able to get in line. You're able to come up to Milani. You're able to come up to Maybelline, whatever brand is there. And you're able to get face to face with their PR team, their marketing team and different faces. So it's, it's best that you look your best, put your best foot forward, make sure your hair is done, make sure your makeup is done. Um, make sure you have your business cards or some way for them to contact you, be professional. You never know who you're communicating with, so make sure you be professional and you be nice to everybody that you meet because you have no clue who nobody is there. And some people, they just look super random. You would never think that they're a celebrity or never think that they're um a person a very important person vip you will never think that they are part of a marketing team um you would never think that they may be an owner of the brand like you never know who you are meeting so you have to put your best foot forward so many times i met like really higher ups and it was just basic conversation i'm just like they're like who are you and i'm like alicia and they're like I'm like, who are you? And find out who they are. And it's like, wow, this is how you're making connections. So don't be just like, you know, acting trashy or acting a fool and not really understanding that there's going to be people watching you. Like, there's people going to be watching you. Like, there's people watching you every day. You should always, you know, care about how you carry yourself and stuff like that. So that's something else I want to tell you guys. Um... Yeah, so you get face-to-face -face with these brands. You want to be confident. You want to be, you know, speaking up. Make sure you look people in their eyes. Make sure you smile. Make sure you shaking their hands. Um, and, of course, be yourself. 
these beauty conventions like beauty con and stuff is an awesome opportunity to just really network so not only just networking when it comes to beauty brands but it's also an opportunity to network with other youtubers other creators um other influencers people that do instagram like everybody up under the sun is in these conventions so just keep your eyes and your ears open if you guys have any more questions or things that you want to know make sure you leave them down below and I'll answer all your questions. This is like the beauty kind pamphlet. Um, it's not just beauty kind. This is for beauty kind. But what I'm saying is that any convention that you go to, like Gym Beauty or anything, they're going to give you a map of the facility. Um, they're also going to give you this key where it's going to tell you all the different brands on here. You know, it's going to tell you um, Fashion Nova because Fashion Nova was there this year. Revlon, Sally Beauty. Um... L'Oreal, Lime Crime, Clean and Clear, Dove, like Maybelline, did I say Maybelline, Violet Voss, like all these companies are going to be here. They're going to give you a map and tell you exactly where all the companies at. I do suggest that you go to your favorite brands first because once it start getting packed in there, you're probably not going to get to your favorite brands at all. So make sure you go to them first. So they're going to give you a map. It's going to have the charging stations on there, food, beverage, first aid, everything. They're also going to give you a schedule of everything going on. So you're going to be able to see when your favorite YouTuber is going to be hitting the stage. Um, people like Lala, Mulan, Cardi B, when they'll be here. Also, they'll be having different things going on, like makeup tutorials and different things that you can actually sit down and learn something different youtubers talk they have nice little panels so it's an awesome opportunity to sit down and listen and learn some things they also do meet and greets so they're gonna um, show you all the meet and greets make sure you get in line early for those meet and greets sometimes those lines start like an hour in advance when it's somebody that um these people really want to see they get in line early because the lines get so packed. Like for example, Aaliyah J. Aaliyah J is somebody that a lot of people want to see. So her meeting was from 12 to 2 p.m. People was going to already be in their line by 11, like literally waiting because they want to make sure they get a chance to meet her because sometimes they do cut these lines off. So if you don't get in there early enough, you won't get a chance to meet your favorite influencer. Um. So and so let's just dive into the swag bag. Cause this video is getting so long. Okay, 